Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2018 Toyota RAV4 Limited. Now the most notable features on this Limited is its 360 degree backup camera, its parking sensors along with its navigation system. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2018 Toyota RAV4 Limited. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Limited is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps. Taking a closer look at the front grille, you'll see your front facing camera for your 360 degree backup camera. Along with your parking sensors, 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. You have the integrated signal lamps and your down facing camera on both sets of mirrors for the 360 degree backup camera. On the inside of the mirror here, you'll see your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with that indicator, it'll actually light up just learning that there is another vehicle right beside you. Chrome accents on your door handles and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is black current. Now taking a look just at your front dash as well as your front seats, we're going to show you exactly how much room you have. You have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver seat with lumbar support. Over on your left hand side you have your mirror controls, heat uh, steering wheel with your lane departure alert, traction control on and off, or sorry your all wheel drive lock and your power lift gate release. Seat memory controls, window locks, power locks and window controls both your front and rear windows. Now taking a look just at the steering wheel you have your volume control, seat function, bluetooth mode select and your voice recognition along with your scroll function for your multi-informational display and your cruise control just located down below on your right hand side. It does offer you the push button start so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button and it will start up for you automatically. Taking a look at the multi-informational display you'll see a couple of different features on here so if we scroll through you'll see your average fuel economy, distance to empty, eco indicator, sway warning, you can also go through the compass, audio, lane departure alert, messages, and your settings menu with your lane departure alert, pre-collision system, blind spot monitoring on and off, parking sensors on and off, and a couple of other additional features. Taking a closer look now at the center dash as well as the touch panel display, you'll see a couple of different features on here, which include your hazard lights of view for your 360 degree backup camera, which I will show you later on here traction control on and off, and your indicator lights for your rear passenger. So uh, parents, if you're worried about your kids getting um, into the vehicle and not buckling up their seat belts, you don't have to worry because they won't be able to uh, have this light turn off until they actually do so. If you go inside the apps menu, you'll find your navigation audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. You have the premium JBL sound system along with your XM satellite radio dual zone climate control settings, eco and sport mode with the heated seat controls for your driver and passenger, window wiper de-icer, USB and auxiliary input, and your power outlet. It's mounted to an automatic transmission and if we take a look just at the top here you have your auto dimming rear view mirror with integrated garage door opener and digital compass and then you'll also find the open and close for your power moonroof with the tilt up and down feature and sunglass case holder. Now I'm just going to throw this into reverse just so I can show you what the backup camera looks like. So as you can see you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you. And then you also can change up the backup camera view to a more 360 degree backup camera view, dynamic view or your traditional backup camera view you're used to. Now when I'm in drive and I hit that view button it'll actually show me a nice front end view of the vehicle which makes things a lot easier for me especially when I'm in a parkade and I need to see exactly how much room there is for me in the wall. There is also an auto feature so the nice thing with that is when you put into drive anything under 10 kilometers an hour it'll stay on this screen and then after that it'll go back to the previous screen you were on. Now if I hit the view button once more when I'm in park it'll show me a nice 360 degree view of the vehicle just showing me if there's any obstructions in the way just before I pull out of the driveway in the morning. If I hit that uh, camera view down below there, it'll actually close in on the vehicle for you. Just to show you if there's any obstructions in your way, just uh, to make things a little bit easier for you on your way out. And then if I hit that view button once more, it'll go back to the previous screen I was on. 
Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now, located on your rear bumper, you're gonna see your parking sensors just located right across. On the back of the tailgate, you have your backup camera just on your left-hand side and your rear hatch release located just underneath your Toyota emblem there. So all you have to do is just uh, push on the button once and it will open up for you automatically. Now, closing in on the rear cargo space, you do have a 60-40 split for your rear seat, so in the event that you need the additional room, it is available to you. You have the cargo cover in the back of there, which is great, because all you have to do is just cover up your valuables just while you're going from place to place, and people can't see what you have in the back there. With the cargo net, you can just place smaller items in the back there without fear of them bouncing around just while you're driving. And then you have a cargo liner in the back, which is great, because if you spill any liquids back here, it makes things a lot easier to clean up afterwards. Underneath the floor you'll find your spare tire as well as your jack and tool kit so if you do find yourself in a bit of a pinch you know exactly where it's located. Now the other great thing is with this power tailgate it's actually a readjustable tailgate so all you have to do is just hold down the button for approximately two seconds at the height you'd like it at. It'll beep a couple of times and when you close it and open it again it'll open up to this height however if you want to reset the height for yourself Hold down the button for more than four seconds, it'll beep several times, then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this maximum height. Now, a couple of the uses for that power tailgate is if you're a little bit shorter, or if your garage is a little bit lower, you can prevent the back of your tailgate from being damaged. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comments section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.